Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So um, I am going to start working on this journal here and I have been working while my phone's been charging on the cover picture that I'm going to put on this and I will bring that closer to you so you can see. It's just, um, I think this is a Tracy Fox digital item. I stamped some cardstock with um, script and I did it in purple ink and then punched out the flowers and the butterflies and then added some gems to it and I distressed the edges of this piece and this piece with purple. Um, this is a song, uh, music from, from a um, worship book and then just some cream cardstock and then put the gold, this gold piece on it recycled paper I didn't do st good stamping on there and then some lace and I just thought that turned out just really beautiful so that's how that's going to look on there I also have some lace <coughs> that I've been wanting to use and I'll see hopefully you can see this good but it has that on it and then when you unroll it some more you have these people and it just continues with that pattern of a whole bunch of this which I'll probably put some in my Etsy shop because I definitely don't need that much I'm hoping to have my Etsy shop done by the end of the week so what I want to do with this is I want these to be pockets on the inside of the journal but I think I'm gonna put it on some cardstock so that way those images on there can stand out a little more. And then I'll stitch around it and then glue that on. So um, I'd have to dig for my cardstock for that. But so for, for right now, I have some white pages that I want to dis, uh, to have not as white. So I thought <clears throat> I would stencil on them. Just going to grab some. I'm going to have that back there. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to stamp on it. Let's bring my stamps over and see what we have. just to stamp on the pages. Let's see what else we have here. That would be a great one to stamp on the pages. Stamps that have some things that draw my interest here that we could do on there. And I think I'm going to do it in more of a the tea, do tea colors, tea staining. Set that in the back in case I want to use it. So, with this now, I am really liking using the purple um, distress ink. So I have it's called 
Wilted Violet. It is a juicy, juicy pad. So in order to get it so it's not quite so juicy, I may need to stamp off first and then stamp on. Um, I'll just get a test piece. I can test on the back of this and then see what happens. I'm just going to move this stuff here. Okay, too much stuff on my desk. Sorry for reaching over. Okay, so these towards the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit here on this and see what it looks like stamped off on white. I don't mind the white, but I kind of want to, and then we'll I don't think I'm going to do the purple. Okay, so we're going to do the tea dyed color. Get this all cleaned off. And I think that's good. So we are going to do the tea color on here. I think I got this um, stamp from In Love Arts, and I love this stamp. It's big, covers a big area. My tea dye is about to dry up too. It's not as juicy as it was. Okay, I think that's good. going to hold it a second just to I want this to be for you to be able uh, whoever ends up with this journal to be able to write with it write on it and so um, yeah so I just don't want I don't want the color too bright oh that's really pretty I really like that okay part of it. So just get part of it inked. still right on on that page it's not so dark goodness that is just I just love that okay do the other side And it came with this um, 
plastic backing on it and I just left it because I don't have anything big enough to to put this on and it works really really well side. Here we go. We'll just flip it. Okay. There we go missing a little bit right there but that's okay okay so we've got that page stamped now the next white page this one and let's see what we have here I think I want to use this flower one. I don't know if my stamp block is. I can probably make it work. I'm just going to stamp off this one. This stamp here is from May May. Made it. Um, part of her scripture stamp club of the month and I've been wanting to use this um, floral one okay stamp off the first one because it hasn't been used. I love the scripture stamp club of the month. It is so, so awesome. See, I might use some of the words to that page and I think I might want to do some stitches on here. I really love these decorative stitches. The floral one I think I want to do. 
These are from Beeline Designs, and you can get these from um, Linda Israel. because I might use some of the words, but I definitely want to use the stitches stamps. And again, I'm just going to put it down with without a block because I do not have a block that's long enough. And these are solid enough um, that I really don't need to have a block. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. And on the other page. Okay. So I, don't, I might want to do some of these floral up the side. enough. No, I think I want to do something there too. Okay, so let's do this on here. What else do I have on here? I have a little butterfly. And then I can do this. little bit of a bigger butterfly. And then this. Let's see how that will look right there. Yeah, I think that'll be good on both sides. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah, that's going to be really nice. I'll do the other side and then this page will be done. looks like so far. I love that. That is so pretty. Okay, this is the next page. And I think that this one, stamp these off and put these back. Okay, um, let's 
stamping is easier for me because um, I don't have a brush for the stencils. Um, so I use my regular distressing tool and it snags on it. Okay, so for this one, I think I want to do this tree. Is my block big enough for the tree? It is not. this and then just do a stitch uh, stamp stitching on top and probably choose a different stitch I'm just going to use and pull these off so I don't get those on there and then just stamp on here Pages. do the same on the other page. This stamp also was from In Love Arts, I do believe. that tree. I'm going to stamp that off and then I'm going to use this leaf stitch. And I'm just stamping on here just so the pages aren't blank and it just gives a little bit of interest. You can still write on it on this page. So I'm really hoping for, um, I know I'm not very talkative tonight, most of the time I'm not, um, hoping for a call this week for a job I've been trying for. Um, that's so pretty. 
that's enough for that. And then, um, but for now I've got um, DoorDash scheduled. For the next couple of days. I'm trying to hold out until I have, um, you know, uh, a job that, um, that I qualify for. I might do light stamping on this. I really like those. my big block. Here we go. Let's see if I can do see if I can fit this. Well, I think we're going to do this here. We'll do this little one in the corner. <coughs> yeah, I did doing the DoorDash. I um, did up a little spread because I'm an accountant. So I did up a little spreadsheet and have my tax deduction and taxes and all that figured out so I can pull it out and know what we have because that's what I do. And always remembering to write down your mileage that didn't work like I wanted it to. I wonder if I can line it back up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we have that. And then I kind of want to do something like this. That's so pretty. Right in the corner there. some of the pages real light so okay there's that I want to do these simple stitches right here. Just a straight stitch. Super cute. 
Okay, I need to use Super, super cute. Oh, I love that. That turned out really nice. Okay, we're going to do the same thing here. These stitch stamps are so worth it. They're, they're so much fun to use. Okay, so there is that page that's stenciled, or stamped, that goes in here, let's see do we have it, we have a couple more, let's see what we can do with these. Now, um, this is a zigzag stitch. I'm kind of playing with these two. I'm just going to get them all out so they're easier. This is the zigzag. Oh, there's this little tiny flower one that would be really cute. I wonder how that would look in that one. That's what we're going to do in the corners here. Let's see if I can. I think that would make it too high. So we got to stamp this first in the corner. I'm going to do uh, all four corners with this. And then I'm going to do a zigzag here, zigzag stamp. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this flower and try to center it into the circle. Okay, so there's that. So the next thing is to do the zigzag stitch around the edges. this page and then um, and then I'll continue in another video so cute I love it okay so I do want
And it has like the back stitch areas too, which is pretty cool. So we'll do this one here. Super cute. And then we'll do this side. And then I don't know if I want to do the top. I think I want to leave it just like that with those. Okay, so there's that page. And then we have one more page left to decorate. And let's see, what do we want to do with this page? Maybe this rose. Same thing for this corner. So pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to do these three crosses down at the bottom. I really like these three crosses. So I think I do want to do stitches on this as well. But I think I'm going to do the uh, straight stitch. side. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that's perfect. Okay, so we have our pages, um, the white pages done up. We'll just do a quick flip. This is what it's going to look like in the journal.
Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining me and, um, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be working on, um, I actually will have a video for a snippet roll and then we'll be working on this journal some more. I'll see you in the next video.